Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Gina. I'm back again with another one. You guys already see who it is. It's time for Miriam RPG Simulation. I know, I know, I know we are behind quite a bit, um, but I'm excited because we're behind. Um, like I always say, that means we get to do more chapters. So today we're doing 59, 60, 61, and then maybe 62. Depends on how long we get to this video. They're only up at 64. So if I stop at 60, Two, we'll do 63, 64, and then they'll be dropping 65 next week. So we'll have three also next week, next week's video. So that's what I'm kind of planning on doing. Let's just see how this works out. No, I'm talking fast because I want to help you get into this. So, but before I get into it, I got to thank everybody out there. Thank all our members. Thank all our supporters. Thank all you guys. Make sure you guys like the video. Please like the video. Share this thing out. Going for 100 likes on every video. Um, please yeah just like it if everybody that watched this video just like it that'd be freaking awesome what's the what's the hold up just like the video right if you're if you're watching it you must like it right um but uh i digress again thank you guys thank webtoons out there filter is still up we gotta do what we gotta do um but i don't leave the filter completely up because they have we have like a limit so towards the end i will i will remove the filter and we'll go from there so let's get into it Alright, y'all. Getting back to this. No stage 59, which we know is episode 59. That's in the branch of the demon cult. Although not directly involved in the central plane, the demon cult has subsidiaries and branches in several regions there. Are you here to see Mr. Guillaume? Only you are allowed inside. Your subordinates will have to wait on the first floor. Partly because they have to manage funds systematically and partially because they need various supplies and information. But actually, the main reason is that they need a place to hide in case the true school come after them. Very true. Very true. Um, welcome. My name is Yelway. I'm the captain of the Silver Spirit Unit's Dead Spirit Company. I heard that you were coming. Nice to meet you, mister. It is nice to meet you. My name is Mai Zhang Giong. We know about Mai Zhang Giong. It's getting shaken down. Jiang Zhang Shang, the third in the Imperial in the Great Imperial Pavilion's hierarchy. This, this dude's health is is yeah, it's off the chain. You got four million, four million health and four million key. Four million and a half key. Fighting power seven million. Supreme Master. Damn, he looks so stoic, the Great Imperial the Great Imperial Pavilion. Ah, uh, this is my bodyguard. My name is Chiang Jing Song. What the hell is going on here? Exactly, if you got a guy that strong, you shouldn't be getting shaken down by nobody. Like, for real, like, unless this fool is super brolic, you should not be allowed to be shaken down because your bodyguard is strong as hell. What's a warrior from the Great Imperial Pavilion doing at a branch that funds the Silver Spirit Unit? Did Wei Sama send him here as a way of getting revenge against Gonma? Manjang Giam hired this guy despite knowing where he's from, then this is essentially a betrayal. In that case, I wonder how long Manjang has been in contact with Wei Sama. It's a betrayal, because that's why he's sweating his ass off. Look at him, dude. Look at this guy. Go here sweating bullets and keep wiping. On another note, one tome of one tome of seal deactivation. Message above his head. Could that be a way of breaking the seal on the ceremonial blade of awakening? Please have a seat. Thank you. Be calm. Don't show your feelings here. Ah, I'm glad you came. We were actually just about to submit a request as well. A request for what, sir? Well. As I'm sure you already heard, we haven't been able to deliver our payments to the Silver Spirit Unit on time for the last several months. The local sect has been pressuring us to pay them. Are you referring to the head of the Blue Dragon School? That's right. About two years ago, I met the head of the Blue Dragon School when I took over as an empty martial arts studio in that area. I'm not sure how, but in the last couple of years, he's become extremely powerful. It's probably because of his reputation as a great martial artist teacher. A few kids from wealthy families become much more powerful after studying with him. Ever since then, all kinds of people have gathered here to practice martial arts. 
from local roughnecks to kids from war here from merchant families lately the streets are full of warriors even from distant lands it sounds like there are a lot more people here now is that why the head of the blue dragon school needs more money i think that's the main reason whatever the reason now that he has more mouths to feed, there are more people collecting money for security under the pretext of protection. And as he expands his territory, our branch probably began to seem very tempting to him. Just think of all the shops that we run, our money lending and rental businesses and the protection tax that we collect from the stores. Have you tried talking to him? Of course, but I could tell you from their attitude that you can't compromise with these people. They demand more money than we make. How am I supposed to negotiate with them? Plus, if we give in on one thing, they'll ask for even more later. The world of business is like a jungle. Show any signs of weakness. Predators surround you from all sides in the hope of devouring you. That's why I asked the Silver Spirit Unit for help. They just kept telling me to wait because of some internal problem. That was probably because of the Guayzama incident. I didn't sit around waiting forever, so I asked the demon cult directly for help, and the Crimson Demon Palace offered to help us. Given the urgency of the situation, they assigned me a bodyguard first. I have to think about my own survival too, after all. What's your position in the, in the Crimson Demon Palace? Uh, he's from one of the five pavilions, so he told me that he doesn't have a specific position. Don't worry, he said, that he'll return to the palace once this is taken care of. And he's been paid a reasonable amount. What would you like me to do? Bing! You have received a mission from Meng Mengong Gyeong. Mission Eliminate Yang Chang Baek. From the head of the Blue Dragon School, however, must not be any witnesses. Number two, upon completion, receive funds necessary for activities in the central plains, create purchase desired gear, medium or high quality items, reward, tone of seal activation, part of the map secret book, one of four. Damn, so he has to do it. In cases like this, the best solution is simply to eliminate the problem. But couldn't that potentially create even a bigger problem? He's from the Mount Ui set after all. That's alright, I've already paid off someone that know that. Everyone has their price. Two school warriors, no exception. <clears throat> well, he thinks he can solve this with money. I mean, he's right, but there are corrupt people everywhere. But I'm no fool. Given the current situation, he really does. He really think I believe that simply killing one person will make all our problems go away. This is my request to you. Ming Jong is definitely up to something. But as corrupt and sneaky as he may be, I've already come too far to turn. Very well, I accept your request. Excellent, I knew you would understand. You're sweating like crazy. Here's the head of the Blue Dragon School's weekly schedule and information on his bodyguards. I wrote everything down. I look forward to seeing you again after everything has been dealt with. Of course. Three days later, sometime between 9 and 11 o'clock at night, the Blue Dragon School. As expected, there are two guards in the watchtowers by the outer wall near the Black Gate. Another one, guards by the corner of the outer wall, and two gatekeepers by the main gate. Their stats are all around 10,000. And Jong suggests that we assassinate Yang Chung Baek, the head of the Blue Dragon School, around this time, about an hour before he goes to bed. Because we receive word that Yang Chung does rest restore breathing right before bed. And as everyone knows, warriors must warriors are most vulnerable to attacks during restore pre breathing. Plan seems solid enough, but that makes me even more suspicious for some reason. They know exactly when Yang Chung does rest restore restorative breathing then why didn't that guy Young Chang Sang have killed him instead Captain what are you thinking I bring this up now they might get confused and make a mistake 
better keep myself just for now we'll just focus on the mission at hand yeah that's all sketch though that is super sketch i think i was just thinking about the plan i wonder what kind of trap this one I hate that I have to go through with this, even though I know it's a trap. Almost time. Stay sharp, everyone. He should have told them, because now that he has his trust like all the way up, he needs to be able to trust his people to handle whatever he needs to say. Because their trust and everything else involved in their relationship is like max out, so they will understand. We're getting a mission to assassinate Yang, Yang Chiang Bake. His squad is actually like doing good now, dude. It's crazy. They didn't even have time to attack. How many commanders have gotten so strong? According to my calculations, we have about 15 minutes to sneak into Yang Jiang's Yang Chiang's residence. We better get moving. You wish to break in. <laughs> I've attacked you at 300 seconds. Fail to reach Yang Chiang's fake residence within the time limit. You will die. What the hell? 300 seconds. That's the time that we plan for. Excuse me. Begin. I was supposed to avoid detection in a wide open area like this and sneak into his residence. Uh oh. This is going to require some serious improvising. Shit. And his time is just ticking away. Crap, there are too many of them. No matter how quickly we move, they'll see us. There must be a way. How can I reach the target without anyone seeing us? The heck has gotten into him? See something? This is my only option right now. What kind of simulation you like to run? Yep. Show me the shortest path to Yang Qiang's residence that allows me to avoid detection, please. But that impossible. That's crazy. That thing actually just told him impossible, yo. Denied. Not enough information to find a place where the whole Blue Dragon School is viable at a glance and gather more data. Can I see the whole Blue Dragon School at once? Damn, we gotta make it over there though. You want? I'm gonna go for it. How many commanders? Using telepathy? A skill that transmits a person's voice secretly to someone else at a distance. Change of plans. For young, take out the three guards standing below the front the front roof. The rest of you follow me. Look at her putting in work, maybe. Nice one, so young. Yoram. Look at your yo, the squad is, is is where it's at now. These guys are getting good. Take them all out. Damn. It's not enough time. 77 seconds, yo. I should be able to see the whole place from here. You now have sufficient data analyzing. Word. Path found. Simulation shows a path to reach Yang Junction. Yang Chiang Bakes residence in 55 seconds, the shortest possible time. You win. You will encounter enemies on the way. It must be. They must all be eliminated in close combat. If you fail to defeat any of them within a single strike, the estimate time will increase. Time attack 77. He estimated time 55 seconds. Then follow the arrow. Shit, sick. He's gonna move, baby. Just stick your guys on him. Shit. Gosh. 
Isn't that the Phantom? Oh, that one got blocked. That one's head's gone, but that one blocked it. Ugh. Oh, he's dead too. Keep going, bro. The estimated time has increased by five seconds. Like 55, he's at 60 seconds now. He has 77. The time, the total time is decreasing, but the estimated time went up. 68, and now it's 60. You don't have time to stop or anything. Damn it. Where's the captain? I think he went on ahead by himself. Why? What about the plan? Oh no. Well, I'm sure he had his reason. A reason for deviating from the plan, I mean? Like, maybe he found a quicker and safer way to get there? But why would he just go ahead like that without telling us? Captain may be strong, but isn't it better for all of us to stick together? Maybe he saw Yang Chong back on the move or something. We all, we all know that it's better for us to go or together, but you think the captain doesn't realize that? Any sort of situation come up all the time during that assassination missions. Maybe Yang Chong suddenly decided to go out for a drink. Maybe the captain saw him do something that wasn't part of the plan. That's what I think at least. And he should have told us. Let's just trust him. He's our captain after all. Dang, and he was the last one to join the team. And he supports him. That's pretty wild. And I'm pretty sure his... We haven't really seen it, but his trust status is not as high. Time attack 24 seconds. Now I just have to get eight. Crap. I have my guard down because I'm so close. Too late to run away. I'm in front of Yang Chan's residence. Those must be his bodyguards. I mean, they're probably powerful. I don't have time to fight them all. What should I do? Simulation never works at critical moments like this. That's some on my own. Wait, I just remember something. Hey, what were you doing behind the gate? Why are you dressed like that? Camouflage? I saw an intruder just now. What? Hey, where did you see him? Right here. Whoa, that was so sick. Ugh. I'm going to attack four seconds. Three, jump, two, one. That's successfully. You have broken it successfully. You complete the time attack mission. Ding! That was so close. You have reached one objective. I am completing the mission. Did it. What's an objective? I. There's Yang Chiang Bait. Calculate time mission now. Nice complete time 212 seconds. Blue Dragon School Warrior. We'll find out about the intruders in 212 seconds. You must defeat Yang Chiang Bait in 212 seconds. Now I understand why the time limit was 300 seconds. Yang Chiang came back sooner than I expected. And that's how long it'll take for someone to notice the bodies of his guards. That my team and I killed. 212 seconds. In that case, there's no time to waste. I have to attack right now. Now my style turn base. Oh my god. Huh? Yang Chiang Bake, head of the Blue Dragon School. Health 9 million. 9 million key. Supreme Master 12 million fighting power. Delway Captain of the Silver Spirit Unit. Health, 1 million. Heat, 2 million. Fighting style, 5 million. He has over 10 million fighting power? Yeah. Yeah, bruh. You're in for it right now. You're in for what we call a doozy. Oof. Yeah, you don't. Statistically, you don't stand a chance. Mission, mission notice window activated. Hmm. Reference information. Assassinate. Target. Do not draw attention to yourself. If you cause any 
Once a disturbance, nearby warriors will come and investigate a void using any extreme techniques. Complete the mission and the time limit. Otherwise, you will have to fight nearby warriors as well. This is why he needs his team. Warning, you and all your subordinates must survive until Yang Chi. Yang Chiang Baek is dead. If anyone witnesses your fight with Yang Chiang Baek, you will fail the mission. Number 12. Golden opportunity. You have found Yang Chiang Baek's weakness. How would you respond? He needs like poison or something. What should I do? I don't have enough fighting power to face him head on. I think of one possible strategy, but it's very risky. The AI. Yeah, but the AI, if the AI sees you too strong, the AI is going to back away and run also. Uh, I don't know. Actually, no. Even the AI was helpless against a much more powerful opponent. Yeah, he ran last time. <laughs> I've already tried that before. Plus, no guarantee. But I'll do what I want. I'll do what I want. Uh, that's very true, too. One way or another, just have to fight him myself. Just martial art. Colossal school, perfect. If I use too much key all at once, I could destroy the whole building and cause a commotion. I'll wait to see how he reacts before deciding what type of sword technique to use. I'll try this for now. Flash. Oh shit, that was huge. The freaking four million health from him. I aim for your neck, but his reflexes are quicker than I thought. Bad I couldn't kill him with a single strike. At least his fighting went down. Probably wounded internally from shifting his key around so suddenly. Or maybe he even got a key disorder. What an opportunity you found. Ding, how would you like to respond? You gotta do it again. I knew it. He must have a key disorder. He acts like he's defending himself. But I bet the key in his body is flying around inside him. I might actually stand a chance. Oh, that was weak though. Only 500,000. No! Oh! And that he's coughing up blood from a, from a shoulder wound. He must be wounded eternally. I just keep this up, you bastard. Oh, his sword technique is dazzlingly beautiful, and his sword arc is so sharp and refined. It's almost like dances with his sword. That's the amount who is sex swordsmanship style. Who are you? Who sent you? Not much of a talker, huh? His attacks are aggressive. I keep wasting time trying to block them. I don't even have a chance to counter. On the surface, his swordsman style seems very flashy, but the sword trajectory and positions are calculated carefully. He's shockingly good at connecting one technique to another. Ain't you on bet? Who the hell are you? Oh. Damn it, time is running out. But I still don't have any way to attack him. I can't just charge at him. I can't just use. Too much key in case it draws attention to me. There are too many damn restrictions. Thought maybe I could beat him because of the key disorder. Guess I have only one option left. What are you doing? Have you given up? Of course not. Arrogant bastard! Mm. Warning. Young, young Chan Beck has found your weakness. How would you respond? Like rat. Damn, they're going at it. That was a big hit. That was big. It's fast. I was too busy trying to dodge the attack. I couldn't even counter. I need to focus. One more time. What? Like what? What? Wow, bro. You're almost dead. Damn it. Held again. But at least I saw the attack more clearly than the first time. What on earth are you doing? What are you up to? I'm out of time and help. My last chance. This fells dead. 
fucking son of a bitch. Ah, uh, I'll send you straight to hell. Hmm. Oh, wait. One specific thing. Moment. He tries to slash my throat. Now. When God palm strike. Go. Oh. When God palm strike causes an explosion in your opponent's chest, there's no need to worry about blowing up the building or causing too much noise. That was my first time using it. I'm glad it worked. I'm out of time. But he's also dead. Then he beat him with one second left. That is crazy. Mission accomplished. Captain, killed him. Hey, you all made it. Are you all right, sir? Oh, I'm fine. Let's just get out of here. Emergency. You have been assigned another mission. There's someone here. Come out. I know you're in there. You're already surrounded, so don't even think about running away. Captain? Miss B. I killed him within the time limit. How did someone find out? How did assassins manage to break in here? What happened to the head of the Blue Dragon School? I'm impressed. Young Jane, third of the great Imperial Premier Hierarchy. Young Jane Sane? Captain, what's he doing here? Is this them? Are these the killers? Who broke into the head of the Blue Dragon School's room? Jom Young Lee, disciple of Jom Young Gu. Whoa. Dude, this guy's strong as hell, too. Disciple of Jom Young Gu? Damn, bruh. Bruh. I am going to call it here, though. I'm going to end it here because this thing's already going to get too long. And then we'll do 62, 63, and 64 in the next one. But thank you guys for hanging out. Leave comments down below, and I will check you guys in the next one. As always, take care of yourselves and each other. Smack that like button, and it's your boy G, and I am out. Peace.